So this happened. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Courtney. And if you guys are returning, you guys already know, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all of your support. And let's just address the obvious right now. My hair is pink. <laughs> guys, this happened. Okay, don't freak out. And mom, if you're watching this before I talk to you, don't freak out. It's semi-permanent and I just felt like I needed a little change, you know? A little something different. So I dyed my hair pink and I think it looks freaking cute. What do you guys think? So welcome back to another video and it's gonna be another vlog, but I just kind of wanted to address what was going on before you guys were like, what, what is going on? I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll link my Instagram here if you guys wanna follow along with me on there. I've been posting a lot more on there, more day-to-day -day things. So if you guys follow me on there, you guys would have already known this happened. Let's get into the vlog. I'm on my way to go pick up Will from his surgery. Um, they said everything went really well and smooth, so I'm very excited to see him. I hope he's feeling okay. I'm sure he'll be on cloud nine right now. Anyways, I'm gonna go do that. I'll update you guys on everything later. So I just picked Will up from surgery. That red stuff is not blood, don't worry. How do you feel? <laughs> he's not feeling well, but everything went well, so. That's all I'm gonna film. I don't wanna invade his privacy. To wear for six weeks. And he has to wear that for six weeks. Hi right, guys, what's up? So I just had my first therapy session and oh my God, it was so amazing and cannot recommend it enough to people out there who are debating on whether or not they want to get help for issues. It was so amazing. You guys know I'm like really open and honest about stuff on here. And so I want to kind of share my first experience and um, you know, moving forward, if I feel comfortable to do so, I'll talk more about it. I was so embarrassed that I was like crying so much in the first session. Cause I was like, I literally just met this lady and I'm like an emotional wreck already, but I kind of figured out that I have a lot of like emotional trauma from childhood and stuff like that, which is probably where my eating disorder formed from. And you know, my body dysmorphia and all that stuff. It was kind of like a relief of figuring it out like why I have those problems because I always wanted to know why. Cause like most mental health issues that people have, whether it be like eating disorders, body dysmorphia, self-harm, it stems from some sort of trauma. I always just wanted to figure out like, what was that trauma that caused me to, you know, have an eating disorder or body dysmorphia. And I just never knew why, because what I always thought of my childhood, for the most part, it was like really happy. I was able to uncover a lot of things in that session and I feel good. I have another session with her to, next week, not tomorrow, next week. I'm like sweating, but cold, so weird. This is a sign to anyone that has been debating on whether or not they make an appointment to see a therapist. It's my sign to you to actually go through with it because I already feel like so much lighter and better. I will share with you guys a little bit more. I'm very emotional right now, so I'm not gonna get too much into details or I will literally be a mess. That's just a little review of my day. But today we're doing something exciting. So stay tuned for that. We are doing a thing. I am dyeing my hair pink. Let's have a little fun. Um, I haven't done my hair, as you guys can tell, in months. Because this is only semi-permanent, you know, it's like something fun to do, you know? So that's what I'm gonna do. The brand that I'm using is the L'Oreal Colorista, Colorista, semi-permanent hair dye. And I'm just doing the paint, like the rose pink. And let's just hope it doesn't damage my hair. How do I do this though? I'm gonna read the instructions, so I'll be right back. 
Oh, they give you a lot of gloves. Okay. And I am just going to do my whole head just for fun. I'm not going to do like the fancy dancy ombre and stuff like that because I don't have time for that shit. I should probably put on a shirt that I don't care about. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna separate my hair into little sections. So that's the first section. Look how dark my hair is, guys. I just hate right now how the ends of my hair are like a reddish color. It just annoys me. Like if I was to compare it to the top of my head, it's literally like red. Not saying red hair is ugly at all. I think redheads are absolutely gorgeous. But like the mix of blonde and brown and red, it just it's not a thing. I'm nervous. I'm really fucking nervous. Let's do it. I am I having a quarter life crisis right now? Maybe. That's okay though. I just want to have a little fun, you know. This whole quarantine thing has obviously made it so i can't do my hair i also need to cut really badly but i do not trust myself with scissors so that is something i will absolutely not do and this is like semi-permanent so i mean can it be really that bad okay so what i wanted to talk about during this little hair dye girl talk section was my experience with was my experience with therapy this morning. And I tried to film a clip, but I filmed it right after the actual session. So I was super emotional and I don't think I was able to articulate what I wanted to say on there because I was on the verge of tears. So I kind of want to just talk about it and share kind of my first experience, first impression with therapy with you guys. I should totally be wearing a short sleeve shirt, should not be you guys. I have never personally dyed my hair on my own. I always have gone to the salon, so this makes me a little bit nervous. Just a little bit. I'm gonna flip her over. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I had my first appointment with my therapist. Her name's Sarah, and she was honestly so amazing and easy to talk to. I honestly, after the session, felt really silly being so emotional in front of her. Like on the first session, she was probably like, whoa, this girl is, this girl is damaged. But um, honestly, I mean, she's definitely seen and heard worse. So I'm not overly worried about that. Pretty much I went in to this session not really knowing what I wanted to focus on because there was a few things that I wanted to focus on. One of them was Will and I's relationship and just some problems that we've had and how I can control my anger and emotions because I do struggle with like being able to control my emotions. I'm extremely sensitive and extremely emotional. Like literally yesterday when I was picking up Will from the hospital, I was parked on the side of the street and I saw this family, um, I guess it was a father waiting for his daughter and his wife coming out of the hospital and the daughter was probably a little bit older than me but she was in a wheelchair and the mom was pushing her and the dad had to come out and lift her out of the wheelchair and put her in the car and I literally started crying and I just thought like not that she is a happy person like I don't know her it just made me so sad to see that and how this father has been literally probably devoted his whole life to taking care of his daughter who is now an adult and still can't take care of herself because she's has limitations right okay i don't know where this is going but anyways back to my therapy I told her i was like just warning you i'm super emotional you know the first thing i started crying about was talking about how much i love will i know i'm like such a baby but she was like oh let's talk about your your partner and broke down crying about how amazing he is how much he's changed me I don't think I've talked about this before in the past, but literally right before I met Will, I went through a really, really rough time with cyberbullying and defamation of my name and all that stuff, which I'm sure we'll get into over these therapy sessions because it truly has affected me um, a lot and has really shaped me into who I am today. So yes, all those things did happen were said about me and this and that and yes people believe them and yes I was 
really depressed, but honestly, I think it totally shaped who I am today. And thinking about it, it's like I probably, if I had the chance, I wouldn't even take back that experience that happened because it has totally made me just like an overall better person. Wow, shit's getting really real on this channel. Anyways, so we just were talking about that and then I started talking about my family a lot. I'm super close with my family. My mom's gonna watch this, so I should probably call her and fill her in before this goes on the internet. Um, so she hears it from me first. But talked about my family. Um, if you guys know me on a personal level, you know that my sister and I have never really been very close growing up. She, I'm not gonna like share her business or anything like that, but um, we were just never really close for some reasons. And I found that a lot of times um, I was the person in the family that held the family together that was there and was kind of there to listen and this and that, which is fine. But I didn't realize how much that actually kind of affected me, um, which, you know, we got into and, you know, how my eating disorder stemmed and this and that. And a lot of the time people who are put in a position where they are seen as kind of the glue to the family or you know, the miti mitigator or mitigator, the mitigator or the person that is kind of seen as a strong one that doesn't really need as much attention, which was always me. She said a lot of people that are in that position often tend to have mental health issues because they lack control. And that is exactly, literally exactly what I I like just felt that it resonated with me so much because the years that my sister was going through some stuff is kind of when my eating disorder started. And I always thought my eating disorder started because of a toxic relationship I went through, which by the way, I do have a video on, so I'll link it here if you guys wanna check that out. But it was actually due to trauma and like family trauma. We didn't really get into detail. I think our next session is gonna go more into detail about my insecurities with my looks and how I am just so incredibly hard on myself and how I always wanna change my appearance, all that stuff. So it was good. It was really, really good. It was a very emotional experience for me and I actually still feel kind of drained from it, to be honest. We talked about my anger problems, which is another thing that I don't know if people know this about me, but if you went to high school with me, you would know that I had extreme anger problems. And this is all due to the lack of control I had in my family problems. I would never to this day ever do that. Like I am honestly a completely different person than I was in high school or even like five years ago like that's one thing about myself that i am extremely confident about is my heart and i i know i'm a good person i know that i am nice to people and that means a lot to me that's also something i'm going to be talking about in therapy because i still hold on to i can't forgive myself for being mean to people I'm talking when I was like in high school, so like I wasn't even like an adult. And you know, I know I should be able to forgive myself for things that happened a long time ago, but um, I just for some reason can't. Okay guys, what? My hair? I don't know if we're supposed to use this whole thing up or what? Not use the whole thing up? I don't know. Anyways guys, that's kind of my experience with therapy so far. I have another session with her next Thursday. I will kind of go into what that is. I think we're gonna be, I think we decided that we're gonna talk, we're gonna go more into my self-esteem issues with body self-esteem and my lack of self-esteem about the way I look and how I wanna do all these things to my face and this and that. I'll update you guys on how that goes. Okay, product is in my hair. And I'm just gonna let this sit for 20 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out and style it. So I will see you guys after my hair is styled. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. 
Okay, guys. Obviously, I couldn't dye the roots, but like. Let's go see what Will has to say about it. Whoa. <laughs> I think it looks good. You like it? Yeah. Do you really? Sure. Do you actually like yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, it's fun. I think it's cool. It's cool, yeah. It's fun. You're so beautiful, babe. It's really magenta out in this lighting. Holy crap. Alexa, lights on. In the on. bathroom, it's like not so magenta. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. And the ends are still red. So my mom just called because I want to update her about my day with therapy and everything. But I'm going to... Look, you can't tell. Hello? Oh my god, what did you do? Uh, <laughs> what did you do? I dyed my hair pink. Are you kidding me? It's not permanent. Oh. Just for fun. It, don't don't worry, it's not permanent. Okay. <laughs> I think it looks good. Nessa. My daughter dyed her hair pink. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. Do you like it? Actually, it kind of looks good on you, to be honest. What did she put? She did it by herself? She did it by herself, yeah. What is it? Like a spray or a dye? Or it's something? a dye, but it's uh, it's like semi-permanent, so it comes out in five washes. It actually looks okay. <laughs> Doesn't look bad, right? Yeah. 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 What, is Will, what does Will think? Uh, he likes it. Yeah? Yeah, he likes it. He's like, oh, it's a nice little change. Yeah, it is, actually. It matches your lipstick. I know, I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> we are just running out to do some errands. We have to go pick up something for Will's shoulder. And then we're also going to get some groceries. And if I'm lucky, I'm gonna ask Will to take a photo of me. But that probably won't happen. I matched my hair with my jacket. This jacket is from Maritzia, if you guys care to know. We just picked up what we needed. We picked up something for a shoulder from his aunt's house. Now we're on our way to Summerhill to pick up a few groceries. We're not going to do a big grocery shop. It's expensive. I'm just gonna pick something up that's already made for dinner. How do you get this? We gotta get the stuff for Anna. What stuff? She's cook, like, sent you the list. She's cooking all this stuff for us. Okay, so we're gonna go grocery shopping, so we'll update you whenever we get to this store. Okay, so we just got back from running some errands, picking up a few things, and <clears throat> I guess I'll show you guys my grocery haul. We went to Loblaws and we went to Summer Hill and if you guys know, you know that Summer Hill is like the best. It's super expensive, but it is the best. Tonight Will and I are just doing something quick for dinner too. I also have to clean. Let's give you guys a little overview. Expose ourselves. I have to tidy up because our cleaning lady's coming tomorrow. I feel weird calling Anna a cleaning lady because she's just so much more than that. Housekeeper. Housekeeper. So Anna is our housekeeper. Okay, so we have iceberg lettuce for salads because I love doing salads lately um, and I'm trying to eat better. So also look out for a what I eat in a day. That's coming soon. Baby spinach, cucumber, canned mushrooms, a big bunch of onions. We have butter and ricotta cheese mozzarella cheese and lasagna pasta noodles because tomorrow Anna is also coming to cook for us which is going to be really nice so Will and I decided on lasagna because 
she literally makes the best lasagna ever and will also wants chili which doesn't really make sense to me because it's pretty much the same thing in my eyes um moving on summer hill which we got a large chicken caesar salad which we're going to share tonight and then we also bought this pizza which um we're also going to share so we're going to do a little pizza and salad at night tonight and then i got some berries some lemons and this guys is the best chicken i've ever had like the best seasoning or the best marinade it's the one that your mom made a lot at the farm over covid and it's a garlic Dijon marinade flat chicken, also from Summerhill, and it's just really, really freaking good. I also got some more coffee creamer because I fly through this shit. Two boxes of our favorite cereal, and then all the stuff that we need for chili. That is our very exciting haul, little grocery haul. I'm kind of still getting used to my hair. Obviously, it's dark at the top. If you guys were wondering, um, they tell you not to like actually dye the roots of your hair. So it kind of just like fades into pink, which I actually like. Oh, okay. Such a Will really likes it. And my mom, you guys have probably already watched my mom's reaction. I texted my dad a photo. He didn't reply. <laughs> so who knows? This behind me is a stack of laundry that I need to fold that I've just been putting off. So I'm gonna do that now. It's probably gonna take me like forever, but it's gonna get done tonight. Let's do this. get ready for bed i think i've showed you guys the spray before but i wanted to share it with you guys because it's so good and it's just like a linen spray and i put it on my bed every night before i go to bed it could totally just be a placebo effect but i feel like it actually really helps the house is pretty much clean i've eaten and i think i'm just gonna start getting ready for bed I have an early morning, I have tons of schoolwork to do, and I also have to edit my videos. I think I'm gonna close out the vlog here, and if you guys like the pink hair, should the pink hair stay? If you think so, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are not already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.